Uh, this is a preliminary work in which uh, we have been working since, uh, I think, in the last year, and that we have been presented a previous version in the last year, in which we are discussing about how to control or maybe to uh, predict uh, models of academic success. Maybe we, we should ask about uh, what is uh, academic success. Is it to pass the, the subject? Is it not? I don't know. Maybe the thing should be that the student uh, really learn, which is something that uh, we forget. Okay. Uh, what we have done, we have tried to predict this with a machine learning uh, algorithm or tool uh, that uh, have some inputs that provide, uh, are provided by a version control systems that the users, students are going to use during some of our subjects, uh, application of systems operativos, which is, uh, I don't know, a pretty system extension, I think. And we are using GitHub and uh, an analytic tool that is going to uh, first look for variables or for activities or um, evidences that, about what the student is doing that uh, have a direct impact in our in their success, okay, in their grades, maybe, or in the, if, well, we are not talking about grades because we are talking about if they pass or not pass the, the subject. Uh, our model begins with Begin with the data, we have to uh, filter the data into a data set that could be analyzed properly with some real data and also some artificial data that we make with some calculations. After that, uh, we are going to select the features. We are going to use a, a Gini algorithm in order to, to look for the coefficient of uh, relationship between the success and the, and the variables. Uh, later, we have 10 iterations uh, with a cross validation. Uh, uh, test uh, in one um, uh, from one perspective we are going to train the system and in the other side we are going to validate what we are doing uh, we have selected two different people uh, different type of models some are related with uh, parametric and non-parametric models it depends on the normality of our distribution and uh, uh, later we have some uh, decision uh, about uh, accuracy precisions and things like that okay. Uh, the idea is to know if uh, with this input, this is not working. Okay. Uh, with this input information, we can define if uh, there is any kind of. Uh, Don't worry. Uh, about the uh, if. Uh, There is some impact in uh, some of these uh, variables, and also we have going to try and we are going to validate uh, the prediction model. Okay. Uh, ah, that's it works. It's marvelous. <laughs> um, we have uh, seen that uh, an authorship proof that we carried out during uh, the exams uh, is an important factor uh, related with the success, but also some other uh, information that is not so artificial as this, as the comments or the days uh, where they carried out some comments, okay, in the version control system. Um, here we have the relationships, uh, the validation uh, related with some of the, of the techniques that we applied, and the confusion matrix where we can see that some of the models are better and other are worse, okay. Uh, it's more or less acceptable to see, okay, we have some people that has approved that uh, the predict level said that uh, not all people that approve is uh, really have really passed the, the subject that's okay the problem is the contrary okay? when we have a uh, lot of people that pass the, the subject and the predict model said that they are going to to fail Regarding our research questions, uh, are there any kind of uh, features that we can take into account in order to predict the success of students? Yes, we have looked, uh, we have found some, we have found some of them. Uh, some are more uh, have, uh, have more impact than others less. And regarding the other questions, uh, can we predict that the model is going to be a, a has going to be a, the proper precision and accuracy? Yes, we have a look for ways to do this and ways to generalize this with uh, validation models. Okay? 
we can discuss about this later, but uh, it's more or less what we are doing tonight.